you know like this is your creator this is your father so knowing who he is and what he can do really helps you throughout your daily life and it's like i don't need to worry i don't need to have anxiety i don't need to be sad because god is god is god is there is no better feeling than knowing that i did everything i could to get closer to god and to build my relationship with him and spread the gospel which we are put on this earth to do hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am brandy janelle and in today's video as you can see in the title is what's in my bible study caddy so let me give you a little backstory before i get into it i've always wanted like a prayer closet but where i currently live at i don't really have a lot of space for a, even a corner so i just was like i need to make sure that i'm putting my resources because i have a lot of biblical resources and like just things to study from i have a lot of it and it's just like all over my desk area and i'm like i need to get some order in my life and that's something that i've been praying about so i have been seeing a lot of people using like caddies and just carrying them around their houses and i'm like that's perfect for me so i went Went ahead and bought this caddy here's my caddy it's very heavy <laughs> um, but I got this from Amazon it is really nice it's sturdy it's a lot of room I'm obviously gonna keep buying more resources so I'm like I can buy more caddies if I need to and just put them under my desk so that they are neat in one place and if I want to go in my room and study I can just take my caddy if I want to sit on the couch I can just take my caddy so I highly recommend even if you do have a prayer closet I do recommend getting a caddy just because it is a little bit easier just to keep everything together so that is the reason why I got a caddy like everything that I need is right in front of me again this is from Amazon and I'm going to link it in the description for you as well so let me show y'all what's actually in my caddy so first things first as you can see i have my highlighters just sitting right here in the pockets i absolutely love these highlighters i'm gonna grab one just in case so you guys can see and this is what these are um, i like these highlighters because they have two different ways of use so the first one is like just like the regular highlighting tip and then if you take the cap off on the other side it's like you can write with this one as well so it's like a fine tip i love these highlighters i believe i got these from target so i'll link them as well so i put these right in here that way i'm able to see them and they're just right there and plus it makes the caddy cute too i like them right there so other than the pens i have these organized in a way where this is like my books like my main bible so this is my thrive bible then i have my study bible i'll go through each of these in a second but i have them in a separate section they do come with like dividers the caddy so you can put them in however you want however you want to section off your resources so i just sectioned mine off in two because i do have a lot of stuff so i was just like my bibles will go on one side and then my other resources will go on the other um so i do have my two bibles sitting in the front section and then i also have like these note cards so I'll get into the note cards shortly. So let's go through the Bible so I can show you which one I have. So the first Bible that I have is my Thrive Bible. I actually really, really, really like this Bible. I think I saw it on TikTok and I was just like, I feel like this is the perfect Bible for me. First of all, this is an NLT version and I like it because I feel like it's specifically made for me. I have a lot of highlights in here as well because I'm learning to like really highlight based on what really speaks to me and things that i could speak on in my videos as well so i'm a highlighter for sure but i like the fact that it has like different devotionals for each day and it has like a section where it says like the gift of creation so it'll have like the verse from the previous reading and then it'll have like a love letter from god and then it'll have a reflection section and then it has a treasure of truth so i absolutely love that and then also in the bible it literally tells you what that book is going to be about so you can understand it better and it also has sections where it tells you about certain characters of the bible so i absolutely love it i highly recommend this bible i think this is a hot commodity um i'm not sure if it's sold out yet but a lot of people have been asking me about it and i will link it and every time i will link it it will say like sold out so i'm still going to link it for you guys in case you're interested in it but like i said i love this bible so much and i also have bible tabs in here as well that i got um, I'll link those as well. I think they're super cute. See them. Yeah, so these are my Bible tabs that I love. I feel like it makes the Bible look really cute and girly. I'm like all things girly as well. So this is my Bible that sits in the front. This is my life application Bible. I got this years ago and I felt like I really needed this Bible because I needed to study a lot. This one really like deep dives in each chapter, each section, each verse. It literally gives you everything you need. The only thing is I wear glasses. I feel like I would need to get like a magnifying 
glass because I cannot see <laughs> and these words are tiny on here so that's the only reason why I don't use it as much but when I first got it and my eyes wasn't as bad as they are now um, I was using it faithfully um, but I absolutely love this study Bible I highly recommend this one as well just get you a magnifying glass if you can't see because the, the, the words are tiny okay but this is like I said called the life application study Bible and you can mark it up do whatever you want in your Bible it just really really breaks everything down and helps you really understand what's going on Okay, so these, I just started doing these because I really want to get deep into the word to where like I know exactly what I'm talking about and I can really go back and understand the characters and understand the actual verses and what's being said in each story. So I was like, okay, after I read each book of the Bible, like I started with Genesis, obviously, I just started over because my thing is I know about the Bible, I know different stories, but it's like all over the place just from like going to church. I said that I wanted to actually write out note cards so that I can really get in tune with like, if I'm going to study, I'm going to study. So I got these note card covers from Amazon because I just didn't want note cards just all over the place. I wanted to have some type of order in my life. So I got these note cards and we open them up. This one is called Biblical Affirmations. So that's what I labeled this one. And let me just give you an example of what this one says. So the title of this card is God's Love and Presence. So this one says Joshua 1 9 God is always with me I am never alone so you know when people buy like affirmation cards like I am beautiful I am this I am that my affirmations are biblical affirmations so I can whenever I'm feeling some type of way or I just want to look at them I can just look at my note cards and remember like these are affirmations from God right because he's a creator and I'd rather have affirmation from God than man so I created these and I'm just continuously writing different affirmations as well this one is the scripture memory cards so I'm really happy heavy on learning the scriptures understanding what they mean so I made this one I haven't started this one yet I just really recently got these maybe like last week or the week before I haven't really gotten to really get into the cards yet but it was something that I knew that I wanted to do so this one is for scripture memory cards obviously self-explanatory whenever a scripture comes up that I want to study I want to make sure I write it down and just keep repeating it so that I know what the verse is and I can memorize it so this one is attributes of God I don't know if you guys can see it's gray but this one is attributes of God so an example of that um, this one is titled goodness and this one says God is inherently good and all his actions are for the ultimate good of his creation so I feel like when you are trying to study God and understand him you have to know his attributes and it really is kind of like affirmations as well you know like this is your creator this is your father so knowing who he is and what he can do really helps you throughout your daily life and it's like I don't need to worry I don't need to have anxiety I don't need to be sad because God is God is God is so that's why I started this no car pouch as attributes of God so the last one this one is Bible characters and lessons so so I just finished Genesis not too long ago and I'm taking my time with the Bible because like I said I really want to dissect everything so that I can understand I'm reading to understand not just for completion when I finished the Bible I looked up some of the characters that I remember like hearing about a lot and like just lessons that I can learn from each character so for instance Adam and Eve everyone has heard of Adam and Eve and I pretty much wrote who they were and like the lessons so for this one it says first humans created by God and placed in the Garden of Eden they disobeyed God by eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil leading to their their expulsion from the garden so the lesson we learn is that the story emphasizes the consequences of disobedience and the importance of free will it also introduces themes of sin temptation and the need for personal responsibility so that's pretty much how I do Bible characters and lessons so that's the front portion of my caddy the, the last section is a lot of stuff in here I bought this pouch for like my pens my highlighters and stuff um, I do have a lot of highlighters at the front as you can see but I also have bought a highlighters in the past and I'm just somebody that always wants new stuff I had these highlighters that I got last year it comes with a different a lot of different tones these tones are actually really really light which is good for the actual Bible because you don't want dark highlighters so I like that but I think I wanted something better so I ended up getting the ones that I showed you guys in the beginning but I still have them just to have them because I not only highlight my Bible I highlight in my notebook as well like when I'm doing my soap methods and all that so I keep these on deck as well and then I have some gel pens. I actually got these from Dollar Tree, so do not sleep on Dollar Tree when it comes to getting stuff for your Bible caddy because 
it's a smart move. You don't gotta be spending $20 at Target when you can really spend $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Let's be smart, y'all. But um, it comes with like another pouch, like it has this back part and then this part. I didn't really like organize it the way I could have. I was just trying to put stuff away. But yeah, so it comes with a lot, a lot of different compartments in here and I can put other stuff in here if I need to as well, so I like that. And I got this from, I either got this from Amazon or I got it from Target. I really can't, I feel like this is Amazon, but I'll let you guys know. Everything will be linked in the description if I didn't say that already, I know I did. Um, Next is my Kendo, okay? Like this is not a cheap purchase, Um, depending on what's cheap to you. For me, it was one of those things where I waited. Like whenever something is like over, like maybe a hundred dollars when it comes to like technical stuff, like technology, I wait on it, I pray about it. So I'll just ask the Lord if this is for me, then I will have it when I'm supposed to. So I always wanted to be a Kindle girly. Um, when I did get my Kindle, I thought I was gonna be reading like, you know those books that girls are reading to like make them feel like, like a fantasy book, I guess. But I've been out of that, I've been out of that thought process for a long time. Started reading Bible books on here, like books that bring me close to the Lord. Every time I went to go look for a book, it would be, a Bible-centered book, a God-centered book. So I was like, I think I'm just gonna use this strictly for my Bible-centered books. Even self-help books that I was reading, I stopped reading and I just leaned on books that brought me closer to God. Books that really show his word. So currently I am reading, you guys, I can't figure out how to get, that's nothing but the enemy trying to distract me. I'm going to screenshot it and put it on the screen. Yeah, like I said, I keep this in my caddy as well. I like reading on my Kindle because it helps me stop scrolling on social media because I don't know why, but we just feel like sometimes, or I feel like I have to have a phone in my hand or something, but this literally psychs my mind out. It makes me think that I'm on a phone and I'm not, I'm on a tablet. <laughs> I'm reading and I'm getting fed, so love my Kindle. The next thing is a notebook. I love this notebook so much. Um, the thing about it is at first I had no type of order. I was just writing everything. Like I got this because I wanted to like journal to God, but I started writing like Bible plans in here and just different things outside of like just writing to the Lord. So I am gonna buy me another one once I finish using this one. Cause I did start doing like the soap method with my Bible studies. Um, so I'll just use this for that. But I do want to buy another one. I just love it. It's like good quality. I got it from Amazon, of course. But I'll show y'all some of the things that I do. So I'll do like the soap method in here for stuff that I'm reading. Like here's an example. Um, this is like Isaiah uh, chapter 40, verse 31. And then obviously the scripture, observation, application, and prayer. And like I said, I told y'all that I use the highlighters on my notebooks as well. But this just helps me understand like verses more. So I told y'all that I would be practicing verses so that I can memorize them and be able to just like recite them while I'm talking to people and just like spreading the gospel. Literally doing the soap method and understanding and dissecting the verse really helps. So I do this every single day and I just, I love it. So that's what I use this notebook for. And I'll also link this for y'all. I, I don't know why I keep saying I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna link it. I'm just gonna say that and know that everything is gonna be linked, okay? Okay, this is my ultimate favorite. I just got this maybe like two weeks ago and I absolutely love it because where I am in my life right now is I feel very chaotic. I'm a mom of a toddler and a eight month old. So, and I'm a stay at home mom, which is very new to me. So I was like, God, I need something that's gonna help me get closer to you so that I can stop being so angry and patient, having anxiety, having guilt in my motherhood journey. And I found this book on the Daily Grace Company. I literally love everything they have on their site. And this book was only $12, y'all, $12. And it's such a good quality. The stuff inside is amazing. It's actually called Grace and Chaos, Biblical Hope for the Hard Days of Motherhood. Um, it's a study on motherhood and obviously it's relating the Bible to motherhood. I'm gonna pause me talking and I'm gonna actually go through the book so that you can understand exactly what comes in the book because sitting here will take a little a long time and I want to get to the caddy so I'm gonna pause me talking right now and I'm gonna show y'all exactly what is in here okay so here is the grace and chaos biblical hope for the hard days of motherhood book so I like throughout the book it has different quotes that really motivate you our goal is not to be perfect moms but simply to point to the perfect savior so in this study, before you begin, is study suggestions, how to study the Bible, the attributes of God, 
timeline of scripture, meta narrative of scripture, introduction, and then it, it's like a weekly Bible study, right? So there are, I believe, five weeks. So the first week is gospel hope for the hard days of motherhood. Week two is biblical hope for our difficult emotions. Week three is biblical hope for our difficult emotions, part two. Week four is biblical hope for our difficult emotions, part three. And then week five is God's grace is sufficient for motherhood. Of course, there are like different topics for each of these. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, here's the page on the study suggestions telling you how you can study the Bible, the attributes of God. I'm going to read you a few. Eternal, holy, jealous, faithful, incomprehensible, just, good, loving, gracious, just to name a few. If you didn't know, you needed to hear it. Um, then there's a timeline of scripture. I thought this was really nice, really, really nice and needed and educational. Um, and then the meta narrative of scripture. So it has like the creation, the fall, the redemption and the restoration and then introduction and then getting into like the weekly thing. I'm gonna go to one where I haven't started yet cause I did write in it already. Okay, so this one is one that I haven't started. It'll have like a quote on here and then it'll have like the lesson. Um, and this one is day one. And then on the side, I'll have the books of the Bible that you'll be reading from. And it's not a lot of reading either. It's just like verses that they point out that is in reference to what is being taught. And then there's going to be a memory verse that you meditate on for the week. So this one is discontentment. So that'll be the topic for the week. And then it'll have an, another quote right here. And then day one question. So as an example, it says, what do you think you need to be happy? How does today's reading change your perspective? So it's just different questions that they ask you and it really helps you to like meditate on your own life and how it relates to what you're reading in the Bible or reading from that lesson. And then on the next page for today's notes, it has like attributes of God that you are meditating on. And then it's like a little section that says, remember this. So that's for you. And again, I can actually do like an example when I get to this section or whatever section it is, I can do an example for you guys and let you know like more in depth of the book. I just kind of want to get like show you guys because I absolutely love this as a mom. It's super helpful and it's really taught me to really tap in and lean on God during those difficult moments, which I have a lot. And then you go to day two, which is like impatient. So I love these. It's really a lesson. It's a biblical lesson on motherhood and I feel like I definitely need that. So again, it was on sale. I'm not sure if it's on sale or not. I feel like it's reasonably priced as well. So I would check it out. I'm going to link it for you as well. Okay, so the next thing is a Bible jumbo coloring and activity book. I got this from Dollar Tree. Like I said, don't sleep on Dollar Tree because they have a lot of Christian stuff in there as well. And I was like, I need to get this. I was going to get it for my daughter, but I'm like, she don't appreciate a really good coloring book. I got myself this and I haven't really started coloring yet because I don't have no crayon. I had colored pencils, but I gave them to my daughter. But I think this is cute. Like, I think it's like for times when I'm like stressed and I want to do something and I don't want to be in my phone. I think this is a great thing to do, like coloring. If you haven't colored as an adult, I'm telling you, you really need to. It even has like Bible quizzes in here. Like it says the story of Noah's Ark. It has like questions and answers. So it's not just a coloring book, it's activities as well. And like I said, I'm trying to do more of activities outside of like just reading the bible to get closer to god because it can be fun you can you have to make it fun and that's exactly what i'm doing so like i said dollar 25 i think it was a dollar 25 you know some prices are different at dollar tree now but it's cheap <laughs> at the dollar tree so don't sleep um the next one is a large print bible word search i love a word search so same thing with that i got this to kind of make my mind grow and just get familiar with different biblical terms and the Bible, so a word search for when I wanna be off my phone screen free and just really do something that I used to do back in the day before there were phones. Well, let me not act like I'm 100 years old, <laughs> but before social media was social media. Again, Dollar Tree, so in the same section, so I got that. This, um, oh my goodness, the Good and Beautiful Bible Study. TikTok got a hold of me, okay, and I got a hold of this. I love this Bible study, um, it's really, a great resource like a great resource i did pause reading it because like i said i'm starting over in my bible journey and i'm currently on exodus so i want things to like line up and i don't want to skip around anymore so i paused this unless there's a character in here that you know i read about already i'll read it and study it but like i said i paused it because i really wanted to like understand more but i highly recommend this book i talk about it on my tiktok if you're not following me go ahead and follow me on tiktok but i talked about this on my tiktok it is so 
good. I can't wait to get the other one. What I got, I gotta finish the Bible first though. I have to finish before I just keep buying stuff, right? Again, I'm gonna pause this part of me and I'm gonna show you guys the actual inside of this so that you can understand what exactly you get. You might have seen this on TikTok because it's been viral all over, but I love the visuals in here. It's so beautiful. Here's an example of a visual in here. So as you're reading, you can just kind of meditate on what you're seeing. It'll tell you the title of it and then it'll have like a synopsis and then like key moment, which is like a verse. And then you'll read it, which is like the outline. And then I like that it relates it back to today so that you can understand what you're reading. And it's not short at all. And then it has a reflection piece where you like pause and it'll tell you like sit up straight, take a deep breath. And then you're able to invite God into the room and like ponder on the questions that they ask you, which they ask you about like three questions. And then it's like a small little prayer at the bottom. And then you're headed to the next story. So I love this. Like I said, I'm going to wait until I am on certain parts of the Bible to read into it and uh, get to know different characters in different things that have gone on in the bible the next thing is a book that i got when i went on a retreat last year a spiritual retreat that is it's called javelin over jericho 24 principles of leadership from joshua um i haven't learned about joshua yet so i'm gonna pause this and just wait until i get to that story but yeah i got this for free too like they have like this whole big room book room full of free resources so i definitely grabbed this book because I, or did they give it to us i can't remember i think they gave it to us but i'm excited to have this and to read it so that's just another resource to get closer and understand god's word um jude okay so this is jackie hill perry's book and there's like a video access included as well i actually was gonna start a bible study um with my friend andrea and life just got in the way like we scheduled time and everything and i'm like the time i just feel like where i'm at right now with motherhood is just chaotic even me trying to just record sometimes it's like that but i'm trying to really be obedient of what god is telling me to do so i'm just trying to not overdo it right i'm not trying to overexert myself and i felt like at the time i was just super excited and she told me to get this book because that's what she was reading on and we were going to study it so i'm going to save that for when i do have time to do it with her but i can already tell this is going to be so good and obviously i'm not on duty yet either so I'm waiting, um, but I'm, I am love Jackie Hill Perry, so I'm excited about this book. Um, we can go through this as well. Um, do you guys, um, I don't know if I wanna go through this. I'll, I, I don't think I'm gonna go through this one just because I'm not, I haven't touched it for real. Like I just kinda skimmed through it. So I won't go through this until I actually get to doing it and I can make a video about it later on. Okay, the next resource is a book that I got called Letting God Be Enough, Why Striving Keeps You Stuck and How Surrender Sets You Free by Erica Wiggenhorn. Wiggenhorn. Um, so I joined a Bible study fellowship at church um, with women. It's called Daughters of His Will. I love it. I love being with other women and fellowshipping. So this book is actually really good and it is right on time. So this is my current physical read right now that I'm reading with other women in a fellowship group. I got a prayer book. It's 366 prayers for women who long to walk closer to God. Prayers from the heart by Karen Moore. You guys probably seen some of these. It has like daily prayers. My friend Dominique, my sister in Christ, Dominique, she gave me this book. She was like, God was telling me to give you this book. Like God, when we went on the retreat, she said, God told her to bring this book because she's going to have to give it away to somebody. And I was that somebody. This was last year as well. So I'm excited that she chose me or her, God chose me for her to give me the book. So I'm excited about this because like I said, anything to get closer to God really excites my heart. It moves me, it makes me so happy. So thank you Dominique for this book. It's so cute and dainty too. Like I could put it in my purse, my bag, whatever the diaper bag if I needed to. So there's that. The next one, I have a prayer journal. So I just recently got this and I actually like it. It's so cute. Um, and sometimes we forget to pray for people. Like, you know how we're on social media, somebody's going through something. Oh, I'm going to pray for you. But it's like, do you really pray for that person? Like I was thinking yesterday, cause I told like three people I was going to pray for them. And I was like, I need to write that down. I remember I had my prayer journal and this is actually from the company. I think this is intelligent change. If I'm not mistaken, I hope that's the truth, <laughs> but they have a whole bunch of other books like the five minute journal. I think that is this. I think this is a nice resource for when you're praying for people. And it's not just like a prayer list of people or whatever, but it has like weekly prayer prayer requests yeah so it's just like a prayer book so i'll show you guys this as well so we'll pause and show you this the prayer journal so this one like i said it's pretty straightforward so 
it has like these boxes and this different places to write down your answers or whatever you need to write um it's the weekly planner so it'll have like the date the time the day of the week you'll circle and then it's a box for a scripture verse it is a box for things on my heart a box for adoration a box for guide me a box for confession, a box for teach me, and then the Lord's answer. Like, did you get an answer to that prayer yet? And then prayer requests. So a prayer request for myself, family and friends, country, community, application, reflection, and Lord, I am grateful for. So every page is like that. So even when you get to the back, it's places for you to write different things, like it's blank pages. So if I did wanna make a list of people that I need to pray for, just writing it down, because remember I did say people are like, oh, I'll pray for you, but then we forget. Those blank pages can be for when you need to pray for somebody. So I absolutely love this and I just had to get it. And it was cheap as well. I think I got this off Amazon. So of course it's gonna be linked. Okay, and lastly, the TikTok shop got me again, so you might see these. These are um, color-coded Bible verses. It's a jar, and it says, read me when I'm happy, thankful, angry, anxious, lonely, or sad. So you'll just pop this off, and whatever feeling you have right now, you'll just, based on the color, you'll pull it out, and then you'll read it and meditate on that verse. Again, it's a way for me to get familiar with the verses, especially when it comes to emotions, because a lot of the times, we, what I used to do is I would listen to songs, like R&B songs, or my, watch a movie to make me feel better but it's like if I can meditate on these verses that literally say this is for when you're angry anger has been something that's been like tugging at me for the longest so I feel like if I know the emotion and I can really just think about a verse like oh this is what this says about anger um I can meditate on it and I can get better based off his word I got these from the TikTok shop I will link the video where I talk about it more on my TikTok so again follow me on there as well so with that being said, that is everything in my biblical caddy. I hope that something in here encouraged you to read the word, something encouraged you to pray, something encouraged you to just build your relationship with God because at the end of the day, everything is God. Everything is, he's our creator, he's our everything. And if we can just meditate on his word instead of thinking about worldly things and meditating on things that we shouldn't, we will go so far in life. We will have eternity in heaven. There is no better feeling than knowing that I did everything I could to get closer to God and to build my relationship with him and spread the gospel, which we are put on this earth to do. That is the reason why I got my caddy and I love it. I'm so thankful to God that he brought me to do this because like I said, I had no order and I just was all over the place and just having that structure really helped me. So like I said, I encourage you to please find some type of order of how you can put your resources together. And even if you aren't reading the books at the moment like me, sometimes I look I can't I don't have time for this right now because I'm focused on this or I'm not there yet that's okay but at least you have it and it's organized in your caddy so with that being said I hope that you get a caddy as well I'm gonna pray us out dear Heavenly Father I come to you today to say thank you for the other person on the other side of the screen Lord Jesus I don't know what they're going through right now but God I ask that you just touch their spirit allow them to really want to cling to you and to get to know you more than anything in this world father god allow them to know that jesus is king lord allow them to really want to get to know you in your word not just read the bible just to say they did it but to really meditate on it and apply the verses apply everything the laws of the bible to their lives father god and allow them to be evangelists to other people lord and to be just encouraged father god i ask that they continue to seek as well as me, Lord, allow me to seek as well. Father God, I ask that you continue to just guide us and lead us and to protect us. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you, but don't forget that God loves you immensely.